Burn! Poison! Confused? Sure. Oh, I'll sleep. Oh. Paralyzed! In this episode of our House Play Pokemon card series, I'll explain what special conditions are, how they work, and the rules you need to know to start using them in a Pokemon card battle. Let's go! Oosh. There are currently five special conditions, also known as status conditions, burnt, poisoned, confused, asleep, and paralyzed. Don't worry, you'll understand this table by the end of this video. Each condition affects a Pokemon differently, but they all share one thing in common. Only the active Pokemon can be affected by a special condition, and special conditions are always disruptive or damaging in one way or another. If your Pokemon is affected by a special condition, then you're generally gonna have a bad time. By the way, if you like this kind of content, then we'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. It would help the YouTube algorithm spread these tutorials to fellow newbies. Shameless plug out of the way, let's carry on. Special conditions are inflicted in one of three ways. Number one, through trainer cards like Koga's Trap. Number two, Pokemon moves such as Flareon's Scorching Column attack. And number three, Pokemon abilities like Toxapex's Toxic Spikes. How do status conditions work? A Pokemon that's burnt is indicated by placing a burn marker on it. Two damage counters are placed on that Pokemon each turn, and the coin is then flipped. If the coin is heads, then the Pokemon recovers from the burn, but if it's tails, then the Pokemon remains burnt, and you're gonna have a bad time. Poison Pokemon are indicated by a poison marker. One damage counter is placed on that Pokemon each turn, and you're gonna have a bad time. Confused Pokemon are indicated by turning it upside down. A coin is flipped every time that Pokemon tries to attack. If the coin is heads, then the attack proceeds as normal. But if it's tails, then the Pokemon does 30 damage to itself and you're gonna have a bad time. A Pokemon that's asleep is indicated by turning it counterclockwise left. A coin is flipped each turn. If the coin is heads, then the Pokemon wakes up and you can attack as normal. But if you get a tails, then the Pokemon remains asleep and you're gonna have a bad time. Paralyzed Pokemon are turned right anti-clockwise. This Pokemon cannot attack on its next turn and the paralysis heals after that turn has passed. But since you've missed out on a attack, guess what? Yep, you're gonna have a bad time. Pokemon can also be affected by multiple conditions at once. Confused, asleep and paralyzed are mutually exclusive, so the newest condition always replaces the previous condition. But a Pokemon can be burnt, poisoned and either confused, asleep or paralyzed all at the same time. And if this happens, then you're probably gonna have a bad time. To see how status conditions work in a real life battle, you can check out our example battle tutorial, which I'll link above. All status condition effects are applied in a specified stage on each player's turn. This is called the checkup step, also known as the in-between turn step in the olden days. Checkup occurs for both players, active Pokemon in between each player's turn. So for example, if a Pokemon is poisoned, then the damage counter is placed on that Pokemon after player 1 ends their turn, as well as when player 2 ends their turn also. Additionally, special conditions are handled in a specified order during the checkup step, being poison, burn, asleep, and finally paralyzed. All special conditions can be healed and removed in the following ways. Number one, retreating a Pokemon to the bench. However, a sleep and paralyzed Pokemon cannot retreat without the help of a trainer card like Switch. Number two, evolving the affected Pokemon. Number three, putting the affected Pokemon back into your hand via another card's effect, such as Scoop Up Net. Number four, using trainers or Pokemon abilities. Other rules regarding how status conditions work. Number one, special conditions don't affect a Pokemon's ability. For example, this sleeping for alligator may not be able to attack, but it can still use its rowdy ability. Certain Pokemon attacks or abilities can increase the standard damage inflicted by a special condition. For example, Volvrona's Scorching Scales increases burn damage from 20 to 40, and Zviper's More Poison ability adds an extra 10 damage to the 10 damage already inflicted by poison. Number 3. Pokemon can't be double burned or poisoned. The new burn or poison simply replaces the old one, and the damage taken per turn remains the same. But as always, you're gonna have a bad time. 